Okay. How's it going, guys? So, uh, yeah. I haven't done this in a while. I totally forgot to record my face cam for this episode. I apologize. So, no, none of this in the screen. But you know what? It's a good episode. Really tackle some really interesting topics here. It's sad, though, because I did do, I, I, I did do some math and showed the camera some of my results, but it'll be okay. I still can talk about the results and, like, their importance. Just, you'll have to listen a little more carefully this episode. But it's a really good one. Really interesting. It's going to get a lot more, it's a lot more serious this time around. So, hopefully you'll enjoy that. But, uh, yeah, it's also a good, nice, long one. I think we're getting pretty close to the, the grand climax of the story. So, buckle up. It's lots of good stuff to talk about here. And a surprise appearance of a character I didn't think we were going to be seeing. So, I hope you're excited. Until next thing, you know, you know, you're going to be hearing my voice for the next little bit, so hopefully you enjoy. But uh, since you won't see my face, I guess I'll uh, say goodbye for now, so enjoy. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shit Ticket. Welcome back to Mubla Monday. Okay, now, I, I was thinking about what happened last time. Last time, so the last few videos, YouTube has not liked at all. Oh my gosh. I They're on to me at this point. <laughs> I've had videos slide that had as much fan service as these ones had, but I don't know. I guess YouTube's finally catching on to some of the stuff we do here. So it, they got suppressed, but you know, it happens. It's okay. And I know anyone who really wants to follow the series is going to follow it. So thank you so much for doing so. I appreciate you joining me here and thank you for being a part of this series as always. It's a pleasure having you. So uh, I think we might be getting close to the end. Silvio's got some kind of strange ability where he's like, somehow like making people burst out laughing whenever he has one of his like epiphany moments and so i think somehow he's rooting out like spies for uh a yuko sensei and which is why they've been doing all this to begin with so yeah 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 i think things are looking pretty good um but i think we're actually close to the end like he's got like all of his hints now and i also think that they've been able to kind of track down everybody they needed to so I imagine if not this episode, the next episode is probably the end of Resurrection. And I realize that means we're almost done. Like, I don't think there's anything else left on this visual novel like collection, which means we're probably going to be moving on to the next mobile thing because, you know, we got the day after and we also have um, like uh, Zero Eclipse co like that's coming out soon. It'll probably come out before I finish like uh, like the day after. So it's like... We got tons of upload to do, so I hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys are willing to stick around and just enjoy the time with me. So, let's go in and find out who's been knocking on the door of Silvio. All right, let's get started. Who's there? I had a feeling. <laughs> ah, fetch! Quiet, keep your voice down. Did anyone follow you? Guys, <laughs> over. <laughs> Okay, so did he like open the door, grab her, and pull her in? Is that what he hap what happened? Good. Sorry for being so rough. Yeah, I think my nerves are getting the better of me. Now that we've over overcome the informant's trials, we should be able to access the Beaver and Huff facilities. This is where the real mission begins, in the trusted sen truest sense of the word. We got four key items. All that's left is to figure out how to use them. Oh yeah, I forgot the last one was like a USB drive or something. I haven't checked yet. If I and I, if I'm careless, I could end up wiping everything that's stored inside. Let's listen. To, let's let's listen to this and see. Obedeto. First time you're mentioning that name. そこが後藤機関の中枢。君の求めるベータブリッドの研究所だ。いよいよ君にはそこに赴き内通者と接触してもらいたい。so I've been learning Japanese, as I've mentioned a few times. I'm trying to try and listen and pick out words out of, like, the sentences. Um, one thing that's interesting is a lot of our sentences are, are structured. Like, we've been learning about, like, like uh, X, Y, Y, des. Like, like, you say, like, the subject, and then you like, identify it with the with wa, 
and then you kind of give the the verb or like whatever the actionable part of the sentence for that noun is and then end the sentence des but i'm not hearing that at all so i'm guessing that we're learning like like it's elementary like japanese so naturally it's very basic sentence structure um so i wonder if like one of the things i'm curious about is that as like we progress in like language study like the nouns like the do i guessing they keep the structure of the sentences but i'm guessing that they don't always have to highlight the, the subject of a sentence every time they talk uh, which makes sense because that's English like we don't talk the same as we start to teach people to talk when we're very young So like there's a lot of sense to make there But I'm curious to learn how all that works and like if a lot of it's just implied because you just learn how sentence structure feels and you eventually kind of get a get a kind of a sense for it and don't have to highlight every little piece of, and segment of the sentence You said that the contact wants to get away from the Goto institution in exchange for information. What exactly do you want me to do? Kanojo obvious, man. He's just like having a conversation with you. Hmm. It's understandable. Of course, I agree, but. No, that's the right call. But Renzo would disagree. He'd say letting the, uh, the Goto Institution find out how vulnerable they are isn't the smart choice. It could potentially lead to many lives being lost down the road. Also, the informant gets what she wants. From a, util uh, from a util uh, utilitarian perspective, the logical course of action would be to lead the informant with the organization. Right. I'm aware. There's no need to worry. Not everything's black and white. I have more than two choices. I need to stay calm and get good get a good read on the situation, otherwise the whole mission is bound to fail. I do, but I don't have I, I but I haven't tried to check its contents yet. First I want to make sure the data won't be destroyed if I take the wrong step. I kind of want to hear that again. Is there a way I can listen to that again? It's interesting. <laughs> Is something wrong? Yeah, so what's that name mean to you? Matahari. But it didn't sound like Yon. Like that was, th those were numbers, weren't they? Like, okay, I'm going crazy here, right? Yon doku kyo ku Well Yon is four Doku Doku I don't know what Doku is. Like it didn't sound like Matahari like it sounds like it's something else. I don't know. I just don't know enough. I don't know enough to be able to tell what it was saying. Matahari. It's working. Something's coming up on screen. Let's see here. This is the patrol routes and shifts around the laboratory? Every detail I need to know is here. Hmm. Impressive. Senyu Saksen no Ritsuanga Kanoni Naruhazada. 
己の利益のためならば他人の権利を蹂躙しても何ら良心の呵責を覚えないそれが光月博士の本性だうん kind of agree yes、hmm. では改めて命じるシルビオ・オルランディ君協力者と共に緑川研究所に潜入せよ作戦は3段階第1段階として潜入後ベータブリッド研究の真相をその目に一切漏れなく記録第2段階として内通者と接触保護に必要な研究所内部の詳細情報を入手後一旦退却その情報を吟味し第3段階として内通者の脱出を手引きその後2人で横浜基地を離れるのだ、right. The two of us, what about me say? 私は工作員として残るわ No, that's too dangerous. If you absolutely must, it's better for me to infiltrate the lab on my own. If we create a situation where Misa could be suspected of being a spy, the danger she'll be exposed to increases greatly. それは無理だ。君が内通者と共に横浜を去った後は、彼女が研究所を観察し、情報を提供する立場になる。その算段がつくからこそ、内通者の保護が叶う。また、君の責任の思いも遂げられるようになり、すべてが満たされるのだ。Mm-hmm. But, but... Well, yeah. Understood. You're mistaken. Fixating on something like this is exactly who I am, but now isn't the time for that. I need to calm down. My only purpose in life is to finish what Grinzo started. A, co- a local col-、uh, collaborator being exposed to danger can't take priority over my mission. Up until now, Misa has done,、uh, done well in her role as an agent in place, and stationed right next, door, next to Dr. Kiyozuki, no less. I have to believe in her. The first step is now. I have to believe in her. Understood. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I had a weird feeling. Like, okay, we know. We know that、um, when Takaru and, and like, the others are doing their, like, their training, and then there's like, the explosion when like, the beta that are being experimented on e s c a p e and you know, leads to El Champo, the you know, le, depression, oh, I don't know. <laughs>、uh, when, that, when we have the Chomp happen, there's like, an explosion. Would it be crazy if this actually tied in there? Like, what if, like, that's like Takaru's here and being in training, and like, what if this Silvio thing ends up going south and he ends up accidentally setting the, 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 the beta free? Like, that'd be a super sad connection. I don't think that's gonna happen, but wouldn't it be just re- like, that'd be, God, that would be really interesting. Okay, anyway, uh, report. <laughs> 我々の機体を直接預かる整備兵がスタグナーでなかったことは不幸中の幸いだった。スタグナーエージェント。What are スタグナー？確かにスタグナーが私たちの機体を整備していたというのは怖い。よかったな、宗方。はい、そうですね。安心しました。だがもちろん油断はできないぞ。その気になれば。担当が違っていてもいろいろと仕掛けることはできるからな。Man, that's crazy that they've had so many infiltrations. Like, it makes sense that there'd be infiltrations, but like, I really want to understand like how they're being like ousted. Like, why do they burst into laughter and stuff? Like, is it, are they just like watching and they can't help it? Like, I don't know. それに、人違いだったとはいえ、うちの整備担当が疑われたことは事実だ。それだけ。スタグナーの近くにいたということだから影響を受けている可能性は否定できない。Right. Sad but true. プールでもそうでしたね。事前の情報では監視員の男性、実際には女性の方でしたが、ah. どちらも監視員です。Maybe whoever the informant is is a double agent then, if they're giving them like slightly misleading information. 全くもって厄介なことだ。だが、これで一通りの炙り出しは終わった。みんなご苦労だった。宗方もひとまず露骨な色仕掛けからは解放されるな
もっと早くに解放してほしかったですね。Oh, yeah. That was, that was pretty rough. Oh, it got, it got close to being pretty, in, pretty intense. How can they? You seem to be a little more impressed than anything else. Not that I blame you. <laughs> Miss Brazilian. その辺にしておけ。では、福司令、何かありましたらお願いします。これで基地内の幼虫人物たちの洗い出しは終わったけど、もうしばらく任務は継続してもらうわ。Good。思ったより彼の性能はいいみたいだし、この際、事前の情報
Do you feel this mission is worth risking your life for? That it might be worth killing for? Oh, sorry, I clicked curses. I always do that. I hate it. If you would have even the slightest of doubts, you should go back. That's the kind of mission this is. There's no there's no need for a collaborator to follow me all the way. <laughs> Splitting up here would be the optimal course of action. If we do that, she won't have to be exposed to any more danger. I'm grateful for your support. You've been far more helpful than I ever imagined. <laughs> That would be problematic. I'm glad she caught up on this because maybe even he didn't quite recognize that was was his plan, but like subconsciously it is. Right. Right. Well... でも、その機会が巡ってこないのなら話は別よね。ブラボー。何が？舐められているのかしら？誰でもわかることじゃない。うん。Sorry。一つ聞いていい？なぜそこまでベータブリッドにこだわるの？ I wonder if you'll tell her. ベータとの戦闘で肉体の一部を失った。それが辛い経験だっただろうことはわかる。うん。でも、なぜそこまで任務に入れ込むのか。本当にそれだけなのかしら。今の守備量からは余裕がまるで感じられないわ。You think I'm pitying myself for getting eaten by the beta, and that's the reason I'm so fixated on the mission to take revenge? To the point where I've lost sight of myself? That about sums it up. Good news for you, Lieutenant. You're completely off the mark. It's true I was plagued by nightmares for about a year after the incident, but that's in the past. I'm over it. Nope. Not like I just shook it off or anything, though. I received extensive psychohypnotic psycho treatment, along with all kinds of drugs, to get over the trauma, but that wasn't the only thing that pulled me back to reality. Interesting. I wonder what's gonna happen here. She's not buying my story. Guess you're not letting this go, Mesei. <laughs> Fine, I'll confess. Let me tell you what keeps me going forward. Atonement. I must pay for my sins. A few years ago, I lost my best friend in a top secret mission. I'm not allowed to give you any details, but I can tell you that I am responsible for his death. He was a good guy. He taught me how to live life to the fullest, how to fight back against the obstacles life throws in your way. And yet, that day, in Algeria, I can remember what happened like it was yesterday. We had a heated argument about the operation before setting off. But that wasn't anything unusual, mind you. We had that kind of friendship, you know? Where you beat the crap out of each other from time to time but still end up drinking a cold one together the next day. Typical guy stuff. Never had. I've never had a friendship like that. <clears throat> Unless it's like verbally like beating each other up. But even then, like we know it's in good fun. It's never like too cruel or anything. It's usually just picking at each other. Thing. That's how I usually went. I never got the chance to make up with him. I effed up. I made everything go to heck through the lapse of judgment, and he saved me. <laughs> I should have died. He should have been the one standing here, not me. I can't help thinking that way, even today. Soreva? Due to some twist of fate, God chose me to be the sole survivor. What he said back then was the truth. I was clinging to my religion as a way to deal with, my li with the life of a killer. And that's why I will make things right with my own two hands. Sorry, Misei. Maybe you have a point, maybe I'm not the sound mind. But I want you to understand how determined I am to fulfill this mission. In his place. Of course not. I don't live to be punished, but, do, but to do what he couldn't. Or perhaps walking through life as an undying soulless robot is my punishment. I'll follow my orders, I promise. 
What I can't promise you is that you'll escape unscathed, and that's why. So to a cut about three takes can I win, eh? Isogimasho? Jikano you, you are many nine, Fetch. Anatta no shinita garica inaka. Chikakuni nakereba, shinso a miki a mirkota no dekinai mono. That's oddly cute. <laughs> May say. Anatta no hanashiga honto kadoka. Kono made it ashka made it. Very clever. Very, very diplomatic way of getting him to agree with this. Suit yourself. Let's go. Hmm. Drop down now. Oh, they're doing like hand signals or something. Assault the patrol routes and camera positions haven't been changed. Let's move. Okay. Yeah. The real mission starts here. Prepare yourself. Here we go. If the schedule we got is correct, that card is about to make his rounds. Get inside the locker now. Oh boy. We're almost there. Don't think about that right now. Getting close to the target at our goal. So, Jano. Quiet. He's gone. Me say? There's no reason for her to be trying to like flirt with him right now, right? Like, or is there? Are they trying to suss out somebody who's in here? That would make sense, but still, I wouldn't have minded staying like that for a little while longer. All right, let's go. No time for that now. That should be the entrance to the lab's high security area. Right, the key. Hey, the key, the final item. Have you heard of the sculpture of the portrait of the Last Judgment? Yeah. It was one of the three portals of the no uh, one of the three portals of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Photos are all we have left of it, of course, but you can still tell the sculpting was magnificent. Ouch! That hit close to home. <laughs> Under the prominent sculpture of Christ flanked by the Virgin Mary, you can see Saint Michael separating the resurrected dead into those worthy of entering heaven and the damned who will be cast into hell. No, never. I didn't exactly lead a life of luxury growing up. I just heard about it from my mother. Anyway, be careful. We don't know what to expect from here on. I do like her smirk. She's got a good smirk. Hmm. The informant said up ahead should be up ahead. See that door all the way at the end of the corridor? That's our destination. That's where we'll find the person holding the keys to the beta bid project. Pro, uh, project. I'll contact her and wipe the project from the face of the earth, whatever it takes. Who's it gonna be? This random person? Ooh, look at all this. Alright. Let's do this! Who is it? Who is it? Holy crap, it's her sister! <gasps> oh my gosh! So, a lot of people know this. <laughs> if you've only played like like this typical Mubluff stuff, Rumbling Hearts, there's a doctor working at a hospital whom I found out through people who like like had connections. She's Yoko Sensei's sister. I wondered where she was. Yeah. Holy crap, it's totally her. That's really funny. Quiet. Make any noise and I can't guarantee you'll make it out alive. <laughs> That's so funny that she's here. Huh? I need some answers first. Are you a researcher here? So you to Right. Midorikawa, huh? So you're the boss. The director herself is the informant. 
えっとそうねその通りいくつか課題も与えさせてもらったわあるぞ Hmm. I guess it checks out. As I'm sure you're already aware, I'm here to extract you. We don't have time to waste, so let me tell you what's going to happen. The plan is to. Hmm. Thank you. But the Uh. Oh boy. Wait. Change of plans? What do you mean? Don't tell me. This was a setup. Oh, that's scary. You're going to get killed. Okay. <laughs> so, what's happening then? Chanto sets me sir, can I keep it? Joday? It the Kono Kaka Kara no Keta in Oa Honto Kaka no Zen Yo Stay in Omo Honto. Is he gonna get like, are they gonna tell him what's actually going on here? Tada Jijoga Kawata no Yo Totze Hanashina Kawata Kara Mela Kana Hanashine Hontoni. Stop beating around the bush. Alternative Force Progress Report is simply showing the world how much Beta Brit research has progressed. And the only way such research could move forward is with the sacrifice of human lives. Technological advances come at a price, as they say. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. It's the way the world works, still. Some things are simply beyond the pale. Okay, hang on. I might want to have a picture of you for the thumbnail. I don't know, probably not, though. I don't want to spoil it too easily. How is your research progressing? <laughs> Okay. Chui. Lies. Honto yo. Motomoto beta to ningen no kimera nanka. Umaku yka hats ga nai no yo. Chikyu jo no sebits to datte. Loku na kekka ga dete nai no yo. Well, they're so completely alien. Like, like this, the genetic code that would be similar has got to be so minimal. I, it makes, it doesn't make much sense that they, like, I, it makes sense they would try, but it makes, but I don't think anything would have come of it anyway. Yeah. Really? But. Yeah, how beta function is beyond me. <laughs> like, I don't even know how they do it. It's freaking nuts. Dang. もっとも、どこかの天才に予算を好きなだけ使わせまくれば、なんとかなるかもしれないけどね。生命工学の進歩なんて、そんなものよ。オッケー。だからこそ、投資し続ける価値があるのかもしれないしね。Sounds ridiculous, but she's the expert, not me. Even so. What? What? You succeeded? What the heck did you create? Answer me! Yeah, shh, you stop yelling! Out with it, now! Excuse me. Please continue. What is that? I'm kind of terrified. Like, I'm actually getting chills just thinking, like, what did they actually make here? Eto. Yeah, see, that makes a lot of sense. Biological warfare against the beta sounds like a fantastic idea. Considering they have biological part even though they don't function at all like anything on earth does like i think that that would be one of the best like 
potential solutions. I mean, I still think that what they end up finding, like with the Susano and everything, is the better option in general, but that's just probably because this didn't work. An anti beta biological weapon. Oh yeah. Of course I have. An unusually lethal influenza pandemic that spread like wildfire at the end of World War One. It's one of the deadliest natural disa natural disasters in human history. What does that No, you can't be serious. Here's the thing. That's something that people don't think about. Like, we're in a pandemic right now. Like, we have somehow just forgotten the horrors that were pre-vaccinations, right? Like so World War I, horrific. Everyone can agree, horrific. Millions dead, right? The Spanish influenza, the bird flu, that's still plaguing us today, technically, like in just variations, but that plague killed three times as many people as the entirety of World War I. Like, three times than a world war. That's insane. And in like half the time, too. Like... We should be so happy that we have the ability to make vaccines. And it's amazing to me that people have just forgotten history when it comes to thinking these things through. God, this could be real. That'd be amazing. けれど、宿主を殺してしまっては意味がない。Yeah, it only tends to kill people who are like too weak to fight it. Like and it goes too crazy. 本来ウイルスっていうものは基本的に宿主と共生関係にある。宿主を生かさず殺さず。Exactly. It's all about survival. I and mean, when you're on such a like a small level, it's like even bit more basic than just instinct. It's just survive, survive, survive. Yeah, exactly. And if we weren't in the pandemic right now, this wouldn't have hit nearly as hard as it is right now. Spain カズはもともと、カモのインフルエンザウイルスが豚に感染。そこから人間に広まったっていう学説が出されてるわね。当時の世界人口は推定20億人。感染者は6億人で、死者は5000万人。Yep. Six hundred million people infected, fifty million died. Dang. All right, I, I want to get the math on that real quick. Like statistically, like how many was that? So let's do they're just basic calculations here. So six hundred million. Oh, wait, actually, I, I'm doing it wrong. So it's we do fifty million. Divided by 600 million. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. That's a death rate of 8%. 8% of infected people died. Like, at, back in the day. Most, like, I bet you we could have saved more if we had better care, but essentially that was, that's what it was. COVID death rate. I want to see if I can find this information. Like, it's really important for us to keep this in mind, like, when it comes to mortality rates. Okay. There's a lot... You have to look it up for your own, like, country. I can't go over all of it. But, um... Okay, so I've got it confirmed. Remember, this is cur confirmed cases and then the deaths up until whenever this was accurate so 42 million confirmed 670,000 dead okay, okay gotta do the math at 24 24 million all right i, I did it wrong again I'm, i do like 
jittery about this. Six divided by 24 million. No, 42 million. Okay. So, as crazy as COVID has been, it's only a 2% death rate. So, the Spanish influenza was like five times, was like four times worse than COVID. And COVID's scary enough as it is. Like, one, 2%, 2 2% is big. 2% is a lot. Like, Think about that, like six, in the United States, 600,000 people have died. 600,000, like that's a, the hometown I grew up in was about 50,000 people. Like, that's nothing, holy cow. Oh, oh I clicked outside. Yeah. Wait, did we go the wrong way then? Are you saying like it doesn't affect beta, but we invented something that affects us? Oh. Wow. This is like doomsday. Like, this is like the epitome of like the worst case scenario when it comes to like a disease. 100% fatality rate. Incubation of three days, transmissible through airborne droplets. So for three days, you can transfer it before you start showing symptoms. The symptoms would be horrifically severe though and likely like keep you from spreading too much after that. But for three days, that could do it. Beta Oh, no! That's horrifying! Holy crap! My god. Keep this in mind, people! This is the future we could be potentially looking at, because here's the thing. Not only can this happen naturally, potentially, It'd be unlikely to happen naturally, but it could still be really severe. But it doesn't take much more knowledge than we already have to for someone to actually make a disease this powerful someday. Look at what's happening in the real world now! Wake up! This is a real power! This is a real thing that we could be facing someday. Uh, holy fetch. Why didn't you dispose of it? Did it infect you? Didn't I tell you to stop beating around the bush? Get to the point already! Holy crap. That's horrifying. That's even worse, actually. Because now you have a, like a super bio weapon that you can target. You can inoculate a population you like approve of, and then you could unleash it on people who... You could destroy an entire nation and go to claim their territory. You would be completely immune. They wouldn't. You have... This is like the ultimate bioweapon. Holy cow. They need a hive core in order to do it. She must be talking about the beta reactor in the underground levels of Yokohama base. If this is real, holy freaking crap. There's no other place capable of producing said vaccine, which means the virus is the most lethal man-made weapon in all of history. Shitagawa nakereba 
pandemic ga okoru dete. Can you imagine that? Do as we say or we unleash a pandemic. After the year we've had? What in God's name were you thinking? Assuming she's telling the truth, the world's power balance will completely go out of the window. There's no deterrence. No mutually assured destruction at work here. This is far worse than nukes. Yeah, because effectively it would like leave a cleansed place like where your enemies were. And then you could just take whatever was there. And since Dr. Kyozuki is holed up in Yokohama base next to the reactor, she's basically untouchable. In the unlikely event the virus somehow leaks by accident, no one would be in a position to stop the upcoming pandemic. But is that really the worst case scenario? I know what the doctor's like. Considering how thorough she is, it's safe to say she's already made preparations to unleash the very scenario on her own. Yoko Kyozuki, you've got the whole world in the palm of your hand. Yuko, Hakase ga nani o kangaite iru ka wa wakaranai. Demo, kono virus o odoshi ni tsukaeba. She's holding the biggest bullet to the head of the planet. おそらく研究進捗発表の最後にこのことを公表するつもりだと思うわ。あの子は電磁投射砲だのなんなの。いろいろ兵器も開発してるけど、それらを飴と例えるならこっちのは無知ね。If this is real, holy cow. Right. That woman lives up to her name, the vixen of Yokohama, and then some. So how come you helped us out help out with the research? Pushed by pressure, threat of war, threat of annihilation. It's kind of what's led to some of the most amazing and terrifying developments in, in our histories, for sure. ベータとの戦いで負傷した被害者を使って研究を続けるのはこれ以上やりたくないのよ。成果がないだろうって無駄になるだろうって思いながら研究はできないわ。うん。いや、human on the off chance you had gotten the results you were hoping for, what would you have done? So, ne. Anata ni wa warei kedo. Tsuzukete ita to omou. Well, if it meant that you could defeat the beta, I sadly think it would be one of those things where I would hate myself for it, but I would agree. Like, I. <sighs> this sucks because it's like, I don't want to be. On, on the internet saying that I approve of human trials and deaths in order to save us from a like a, an invasion force but like isn't that the reality like obviously if there's ever any other way do it but sometimes tough choices have to be made and people have to accept the consequences of those tough choices if I were in that position I probably would make similar choices to her and then I accept the fallout for it you know it's terrible to say, but it's it's true. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to actually be in that position to know for sure, but <sighs> could I commit pe innocent people to death if I 100% believed it was for the good of like human survival? Maybe. And does that make me a terrible person? Probably. All I'd have to be is given the right circumstances to become a terrible person. But the thing is, I think I was thinking, I was thinking about this earlier for some reason, but I think knowing myself, I think I could make terrible, terrible decisions if I genuinely with all my heart believed it would lead to a, like a, a true good, a true right, that even if I knew that the choice that I was making essentially was evil, that I would be sacrificing my humanity, my innocence, 
but it was genuinely going to bring about the most good for the most people, I think I could, do, I think I would do that. And that kind of scares me a bit. And also makes me grateful that I'm not in a position where I have to actually face that part of myself. But I also think, this is probably ego talking here, but I think a good leader has to have a conscience, but also the ability to ignore that conscience, but only in the excuse of like defending what's right and saving people's lives. But it sucks because anytime you're in a, any person who's in a position to have that power and to make those decisions probably isn't going to be able to make the right ones including myself so should anybody be able to make decisions like that probably not but those decisions often have to be made anyway and so even though no one should make those decisions somebody has to <sighs> somebody has to as long as I believed my research could potentially save the world, I'd probably be okay with anything. That sounds just like Renzo. I think I got the gist of it, Dr. Uh, Modorikawa. Uh, Modori Modorikawa. Please let, please tell me, though. What exactly did you mean by a slight change of plans? What? Yeah, what? Tell me why. Ah, uh, Isn't she your sister? Like, I, I, maybe I'm misremembering. I'm pretty sure that's that's what she's referring to technically. <sighs> Your sister isn't in any more danger than she was in before. It wouldn't have mattered whether she was formally threatened before or after you ran away. Hmm. Please, don't make me regret this. ここで悪魔の研究が行われているとすれば、彼女を裏切ってきっとあなたたちに協力してくれると思う。ここでの研究成果のすべてがこれに入っている。この研究は世界にとって必要なものなのかもしれない。けど、これ以上光月優子の独
One second, I'll check the map. Or not. Sounds like we need to hide again. There's another guard approaching. Let's get inside the locker until he moves past us. I think we're gonna end here, because I have a feeling this locker scene might turn into something else. But maybe not. But holy cow. I'm not sure we can believe any of that, because again, this has all been staged for Silvio, but it also wasn't meant to be a way to suss out like betrayal, uh, like who the traitors are. So maybe that, maybe she's not being, maybe she's not part of Yuko's plan. Maybe she actually is like turning traitor and maybe everything she said is true and it's terrifying and horrific. Holy cow. I don't know, there's not much else I can say. It's very sobering to think about. I, I might have to think about this one a while before I have more thoughts, which I'll probably have next week, but dang, can you imagine? What if you held in your hand that weapon? And the only means to cure it. Insanely, if you want to watch a show about this very concept, B for Vendetta. Also, it's based on a graphic novel, but the movie's fantastic. Highly recommend it. But it's essentially, like, it's a very similar, like, question that you see in that movie. Very, very worth your time if you haven't watched it before. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much, especially to the patrons. You guys are awesome. Should have a patron cast coming out again here pretty soon. Got some lots of fun stuff to talk about with you. Uh, mostly school, I think. I'm going to just probably share a lot of, like, maybe the stuff I've been studying in Japanese and just maybe some of this, the reality of going to school right now, like what it's all like. <sighs> I don't know. I did just realize something, but that's okay. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me on this special episode. And uh, until we uh, see you all again, and until the fantastic patrons who are continuing to support the channel, you know, give up whatever they're doing. Thank you guys so much for all your continued support. Thank you for all that you do. And for all your views, your likes and comments, subscribes, everything. Everything you do helps the channel in every single way, and I really appreciate it. So I salute to all of you, of course. Until next video, watch me. I'll see you next. I'll see you there.